Hi Dick, hope you're okay. Right, I've got a little example here for you to try and explain to you, right? Okay, that's just a normal flat entity, flat face. That's a component there. Yeah, you can see it's all going blue. I'm left clicking and it all goes blue because that shows it's going to go into its edit mode if I click it, if I do another click. And now this cube here is not, it's just separate, it's just a raw geometry, yeah, so there's no entity there. So if I get the the scale tool now, if, uh, see I've just selected, uh, I left that and that was selected by accident. You can see how that was selected there, right? Because it's individual faces. If I just escape that a minute, right? And I'll hover, hover over the, uh, see how it's gone blue and I'm hovering over it? If I then left click once, that then puts the boxes all the way around it. And then also I'm going to escape again and I'll go back to our other face, which is flat. Now obviously I'm never going to get a 3D on that because I can't pull it up. It won't allow you to do that because you do that with the model in the first place, okay? Um, and then also, so if I wanted to now sort of, um, if it wasn't a component, which is this one isn't here, I would have to either run a box around it like that, like so, yeah? Or I could just triple left click and go one, two, three quickly and then it selects it straight away. Then I would bring the scale tool in. And then I would scale all that up there, yeah? Now, go, so that still sorts that one out, okay? Because you know how to do that individually and together. Um, then you've got this lovely um, component next door to that. Uh, if, I want, if I want to, first of all, go inside of that and just edit one face in that component, I have to get inside it first. So what I would have to do is get the Select tool, click again, See, I've got the frame around it now, so I'm inside that now. And then if I then take the hover there, take the select tool, and there you go. Okay? And that's, how, that's sort of basically how it works, really. Simple as that. The, the thing is, that what you have, what you have to think about it is that because, lot, like the move tool, the scale tool is self-selecting. So, if it comes to a component, in its eyes, the component is all the pieces together. That's, that's why it'll only select all of them together. It won't go individually unless you go into that editing component. Whereas the one next door on the right of the picture here now, because it's not a component, it'll just select individual faces. I hope that explained it to you as best as I could, mate. And uh, I hope you sorted it all out. Okay? Cheers, mate.